over the course of the six days of competition, we're going to see 100 referees in action. Thailand athletes definitely trying to assert itself into the match. Taking the centre of the ring. Very similar start to the first semi-final. But then she cuts off the back leg. And again, she's going off the back leg. So yeah, that's a, that's a, a little bit of a difference there we're seeing already, which is good to see. Into the body there. A little bit different. Yeah, the Thai athlete's got a good height advantage, a leg length advantage here. Referee's definitely keen to see action, more action in this final match. Talon goes high, and again, Romodanova cuts underneath for the counter, but there's an appeal for a headshot. Referee's going to have a discussion about this one. There was an exchange of shots that went towards the face, so it wouldn't have been the, the uh, PSS head guard that would score anything there. So what's happened is one of the referees, the corner judges, will have indicated that they saw a point or they believe the point was scored. And again, I'd say there's possibly two points, that two the, the first, scoring techniques. The first one... In the old days, yeah, that would have been a headshot, but now because it's the electronic helmet, unfortunately, they can't score it. The second one, for sure, is in the, the region of the face. And obviously, the referees, the video re review panel will have a look at it. Yeah, Choi Young Sheik from Korea, coaching the Thailand athlete now, has disputed the fact that the judges didn't give that point, the headshot. So the headshot not to the side of the head, but into the face. Now the Ukrainian is nodding there. Is she acknowledging that she was hit, or is she saying, trying to assert that she wasn't hit, that it wasn't a point the referees and judges were right? That was definitely impacted with the headshot. It didn't impact to the face clearly. Now, there you go. That was into the face. That pulled back into the face. The, the, now, it's interesting if the video review judges are looking at the same action that we're seeing. We don't know for sure that that's what they're looking at. They have the advantage of having four cameras from different angles. So, Thai athlete is confident. She says, yeah, I, she can see the video replay monitor. She's confident. Her coach is confident. And yes, the video replay judges have agreed. You concurred, and three points will be awarded to Thailand. Sometimes when you've been hit, you, you know you've been hit, and it's just a, a matter of waiting for the review panel to give it. I can actually remember a situation with Aaron, was fighting Stephen Lopez in America. Aaron was convinced, when well, he knew he got hit in the head, and it was a matter of waiting for two minutes, so he actually took the helmet off and gave it to Stephen the kick. It was quite a, a strange situation. But then the video review panel didn't give it well the re they can only judge on what they see there's a head cut into the body underneath there a head, head kick and a there headshot from Ukraine she cut onto the body it didn't register but then she took it high and got the headshot yeah the video review judges were saying have to judge on what they see on the screen so even if they believe the point was scored they have to go on the evidence of what they actually see World events, we have four cameras around the ring with different angles which they can take a look at. Olympic Games is the fifth camera overhead. Talent, I think, cutting into the body. So, I think it's fair to say that Roma Danova stole that headshot again against the set of the, the play. Maybe she's going to steal this gold medal. What do you think, Luke? Uh, it's the end of the first round, it's good to, to lead the first round 4-3. Um, it gives you that confidence and belief that you know, you're still in the match, you're leading by a point. But it, it's, it's 4-3, it's still an even kill. It's, it's not one-sided. I 
Still sticking with Thailand. There you go, that's the shot that cut underneath. Close ranging kick there, off the lead leg, cut underneath the body, and a hooking action. Thai athlete will be frustrated, but like you said, she's got the, the ring presence, the leg length. So she's possibly still the favourite now, there's only one point between them. Ukrainian athlete Romadonova is actually twice European under-21 champion. So she's used to the pressure of these uh, big events. She is truly a quality athlete. You know, to make it here to the World Championships, though, the Thai athlete has scored as equalised now. She's definitely a fighter. Yeah, the Eastern Bloc countries have a lot of grit. They have a very physical... They, they like the combat sports, the, the hard sports. 4-4. We test the grit now. Going into the second half of this match. Second half of the final. Manager, the referee there indicate again to go on there. They just have a little bit of a tactical. And remember, Taekwondo is not about who can kick the most, it's scoring these points, it's about understanding the range, distance, timing. It's like a physical game of chess. You're trying to weigh up what your opponent is doing, force them to make a mistake, counter kick, punish them for any errors in judgment. It's much more tactical. You use a ring, you use different distances. It's not like the Kickboxing or boxing, karate, where you stay in one range mainly. Here, you move in and out. You have to play timing. Thailand picked up another point there as Ukraine went for something a bit different than she's been shown for the, the first two rounds. Tried a cheeky hook kick into the body. Paid the price, getting tagged behind. And she'll trail this round now by a point. Maybe a little bit over ambitious, like you said there, Luke. She's uh, picked up most of her points on the counter, and then she's been counted herself. But still a good position to be in, only one point difference. Going into the last round of the final, the minus 46 kilogram division of the World Taekwondo Championships here in Chalabinsk in Russia. Interesting tonight that neither player has any penalty, so there isn't. They've got a bit of room for risk if they wanted to. Nothing probably too exuberant if the match stays even. Well, we've made that five-point ceiling that you talked about in the semi-finals, so, uh, you know, they're already overachieving in that sense. Romaldon over there, looking focused. The Thai athlete looks definitely more relaxed. Panipak, Wang Patanakit from Thailand. The last round against Reina Romadanova from the Ukraine. One point difference, everybody's to play for. It's underway now. Thailand comes in off the front leg again, just trying to jab it out. She can, she has got the leg length and the reach to take it high, so she's coming into the body. Then mid-kick, she can take it high if she chooses to do so. But she's not getting through the Ukrainian defence. Tiger looks very comfortable in this situation. Just keeping Ukraine at bay. Tere Taveres of... The WTF referee there, time to get to uh, do more action, but obviously at this stage, the last round, they're not wanting to make any mistakes whatsoever. One point difference. Final one minute now. On pattern kid, using that leg length to keep her Ukrainian opponent away from her. 
again, the referee indicates we've got to get into some action. And after the last 30 seconds now, the Ukrainian will be starting to think, I need to get that point back. Maybe look for the stealing for a counter. Registered but not strong enough to score. And again, that's it. Around five five. That's it. She's done it again. Robert and over. Nice Show the quality. She's frustrating these opponents today. From the Cypriot number one all the way through in semi final and now the final. Final five seconds. Any fireworks here? Are we going to go on point? Just last exchange of kicks there. We could have seen something, but no. It's a golden point. The first final of the 2015 World Championships will be decided by golden point. The first point wins. Panipak, Wong Patanakit from Thailand hasn't been able to use a high advantage. Irena Romoldanova from the Ukraine has played a tactical guerrilla match and has kept coming on the counters. Scored a headshot herself off the front leg. I was wrong on two occasions there. I said it wouldn't go to Golden Point. <laughs> and I said Thailand would win by five. So I won't give the two athletes, the commentators, curse. Well, let's let this Golden Point play out. I think, well, that's a good idea. I would like to call anyway. But Roman Odova has taken the Golden Point in the previous semi final. Can she do it again in the final? We're soon going to find out. All to play for, the gold medal. There's a loud screen there from Ukraine. The gold medal decided by the golden point. And they're underway. Thailand taking it through. Check there from Thailand. And again, gonna cut, is Ukraine going to cut underneath that or oh, try and tag around the back? Needs to watch your ring position, doesn't go too far back. I should get a warning. Two warnings would be a point awarded to her opponent. Would be the end of the match. Thailand still cutting, checking to the body. It could all be decided by the simplest of kicks. Or punch. If they close down, Ukraine could punch her. She hasn't punched for a while. And she, we know she's got a strong enough punch to score, and we know the judges are looking for it as well. 45 seconds have gone. The hearts will be racing. A little bit of checking the scoring there. A bit of a risk there by Ukraine. Yeah, she's fixing her pass as well. Cut underneath on the counter there. Just short. Did register, but not powerful enough. One minute. If his match is to go to the distance, Thailand is currently winning on the superiority rule by registering most hits yep. so far. Nearly there. That was another hit to the body pad. And again... She's getting through the Ukrainian's defence, which is we've not seen before, but it's not strong enough to register. But these will all add up if it goes to superiority. If there's no score at the end of this match, there's no deductions, so the match will be determined by the number of impacts onto the target. Onto the Hogu, the Trump protector. Less than 20 seconds. Romadonova tries for the body shot off the bat leg. She didn't register on that occasion. As the she needs to register something. She's, going, she's gone for it there. Did she get it? She's going, she's stepped it up, she's stepping up. She's going through, she's combination kicks, very brave. Kyongo. She hasn't registered, maybe she needs to push for this Kyongo. Because she, yep. she is losing on the superiority. She knows that she's behind, she goes into the body, doesn't score. Thailand needs Three. to be careful. She needs to be careful. Tries into the PSS point, doesn't get it. That's it. I think Thailand has Thailand won knows on she's superiority. Done it. She knows she's done it on superiority. Many more impacts, not actually scoring, but she hit the pad, and that's it. The declaration. We have a new world champion from Thailand. Panipak Won Patanakit has taken the gold medal on golden point through superiority. Throughout the match, she made it more impact. She didn't score the points. The, point, the impact wasn't strong enough to score, but she was the dominant player. Irena Romadonova. The plucky Ukrainian athlete who stole a place with a, super, with a great effort in Golden Point in the semi-finals wasn't able to do that again in the final. A very, very well-deserved player. Very, very strong performance by 
the Ukrainian to take the silver medal.